Hey everybody, it's Alex, the founder and CEO at Motoroso.com, your dedicated mods marketplace. Today we're in the studio to talk about the must-have mods for the 2015 and up Subaru WRX with the FA20 engine. Now, since the early 2000s, the Subaru WRX has been an extremely popular car among enthusiasts because it's affordable, makes reliable, great horsepower, and has all-wheel drive performance, and Subarus retain their resale value exceptionally well. In the hands of tuners and gearheads, they've been able to squeeze consistent, reliable, inexpensive horsepower out of these boxer engines, and frankly, Subarus just sound better doing it. Now, the 2015 and up WRX is a hugely popular platform among enthusiasts and tuners, and for good reason, it's a great platform, but it does have a couple of shortcomings. Now, the previous generations of the WRX featured the battle-tested EJ series engine, which could be tuned past 450 warlocks and take its beating like a real man. But this new engine is the FA20, and it's a great engine, but when you tune past 350 horsepower, it's known to start breaking rods and bearings. So that means if you're planning to make big boy power, you definitely are signing up for major internal engine work. Now it's also known to blow out throw out bearings in the clutch assembly, even if you haven't tuned it aggressively, and the suspension leaves quite a bit to be desired. So our first must have mod is in the suspension department. As with most Subarus, the rear sway bar is far too dainty to deal with the body roll, and it is no exception in these new big body style WRX. Even with all wheel drive, that lack of torsional stiffness can lead to understeer. Oh, so understeer is when you're starting to go through a corner and you're start pushing the front and you're missing your apex. That's, that's understeer. And there's all that stuff that you're worried about hitting over here and your butthole puckers up all tight like you're trying to crack a walnut and it's, it's just no fun. Also, why do you have a walnut in your Never mind, let's, let's just keep going. So an aftermarket sway bar setup is gonna use thicker cromoly steel bars that are gonna add more torsional stiffness and help keep that body roll under control. It's also gonna allow you to make adjustments and tune the exact characteristics of the sway bar depending on the handling characteristics that you're looking for. Most good kits are also gonna come with adjustable end links, which will be handy when you lower your vehicle. Now in the supermarket, one of our favorite brands is White Line, and their kit comes with front and rear sway bars, adjustable end links, and lateral locks for right around 600 bucks. Give us a call at 833-MOTOROSO toll free to get a good deal on that kit. One of the main differences between the WRX and the WRX STI is the claimed better suspension on the STI. But all that really means is better valving, a lower ride height, and stiffer spring rates. Even STI owners are gonna be looking for improved suspension, and they're gonna be looking at coilovers. Now, coilovers are gonna allow you to adjust ride height, spring rate, damping, and they're gonna allow you much more control over the performance of the suspension, as well as the styling that comes with being able to lower the vehicle. Coilovers are one of those mods that's actually both styling and performance. A good set of coilovers is gonna give you a ride height adjustment so you can control the exact ride height that you want with your wheel and tire combination and get that perfect stance. In addition to that though, you can also adjust things like spring preload and compression and rebound damping controls to control exactly how your suspension performs. One of the best values in the industry is gonna be BC Racing's BR Series coilovers, which is gonna give you ride height adjustment, damping controls, and spring preload for right around a thousand bucks. We'll put a link to that in the description. And if you're looking for the next level up in performance that can handle street as well as bring the heat at the racetrack, consider a set of KW Variant 3 coilovers, which offer independent compression and rebound damping controls, as well as a piggyback reservoir, which ensures cool and smooth operation under extreme conditions. Go ahead and call us at 833-MOTOROSO toll free for a deal on KWs. Next up on your must-have mods is a short throw shifter and shifter bushings. Now there's not a ton of slop in your shifter, but the rubber bushings are known to wear out, so proactively upgrade to a set of polyurethane bushings to get that long-lasting smooth performance. Now when you look at the shifter throw on your Subaru, it feels a little bit more like you're rowing a dinghy than driving a performance automobile. Brands like Cobb, Cartboy, and Perrin make short throw shifters that'll give you a little bit more race car, a little less rowboat. Now we're gonna make a separate video all about exhaust systems for the WRX with the FA20 engine, and we'll cover the whole system of the exhaust in that video. In this video, we're only gonna talk about the things where you're gonna get the most bang for the buck, and that starts with the headers. Now, with the headers, you're gonna be deciding between keeping that classic Subaru rumble with the unequal length headers, or boosting your low end torque by going with equal length headers. But in both situations, you're gonna be getting more air into the turbo and seeing a major bump in horse puppies. 
Little on further down the line is gonna be the downpipe, also sometimes called the J-pipe. Now this is gonna help exhaust gases get out of the turbo much more quickly, and that's gonna unlock hidden power in the low end of the power band. And this is honestly one of the biggest bangs for your buck, and it'll make your Subi sound quite a bit better. And yes, Karen, by better we mean louder, so I hope you have double pane windows. And of course, there's several brands out there making downpipes for your WRX, and we'll put links to those in the description. You're gonna find the Cobb is gonna be one of the most popular options because of the ease of the off-shelf tunes. The NVIDIA is gonna be a little less expensive than the Cobb and have a little bit more raspy sound to it. And then the Grimspeed is known for offering the least amount of drone. And now that you've started playing around with engine performance, it's time to invest in a tuner module. This is an absolutely critical tool to have in your arsenal because you need to be able to maximize the gains that you get out of the mods that you've installed so you haven't wasted your money while also keeping your engine running clean and reliably and keeping that air fuel ratio safe. And you guessed it, Cobb Access Port. As we mentioned at the start of the video, one of the known issues with this vehicle is the throwout bearing failing up in the clutch assembly. Now this is one of those things we think you should get ahead of because we've heard cases of the clutch throwout bearing going out within 20,000 miles of normal driving without even any tuning. So this is something that you can expect to happen, especially if you add more power. And if you're going all the way in there, you might as well do an ACT clutch while you're at it because then you can handle more power and get better clutch feel as you boost the power in your WRX. We'll put a link to a clutch in the description. The brakes that come on your current generation WRX are just okay. So you can definitely make some improvements in that area as well. And 70% of your braking forces come from your front brakes. So a cost-effective solution is to replace the pads and rotors with something like the StopTech Street Axle Pack, which is only gonna set you back about 300 bucks and you'll see a marked improvement in braking performance. Now you can also add for another $100 stainless steel braided brake lines, which are gonna give you more braking force and a much firmer pedal feel. And we'll put links to both of those in the description. But if you're really serious about performance driving or you're planning to take your WRX to the racetrack, you should strongly consider something like the StopTech Big Brake Kit, which includes replacement lines, calipers with more pistons, larger rotors, and performance brake pads. Now this is gonna set you back a pretty penny, around $3,000, but this is gonna have a massive improvement in braking performance, helping you shorten your lap times on the racetrack and keep your safety on the street when you're really putting the hammer down. Of course, we're gonna put a link to that in the description as well, or hit us up on live chat at motoroso.com. And of course, no build project is complete without upgraded wheels and tires. And this is a mod that pretty much everybody is going to do. And there are literally thousands of options of different wheels, sizes, and tires. And the designs are very much a personal thing. But we think on the WRX, this is one of the most important things, maybe more important than any other car, because Subaru did a really weird thing. For some reason, they didn't update the wheel and tire sizes when they went to this big body styling. So the wheels are too small, the offsets are too far in, and they can't fit a big tire. Now, we can't tell you what sort of style of wheel to run. Again, that's gonna be your decision, but we can encourage you to run an 18-inch wheel with a maximum width of 9.5 inches. That's gonna allow you to run up to a 285 40R18 tire, depending on your ride height. And if you want a lower sidewall and you want the car more slammed, you're gonna go with something like a 285 30 18. Now we have literally tens of thousands of different options of wheels and tires on motoroso.com and we're happy to help you find the rubber bands that are going to work for you. And lastly, if you're planning on going big on power, doing a turbo upgrade, fueling, and pushing your tune past 350 horsepower, please strongly consider upgrading your engine internals with pistons, rods, and bearings. The reason for this is because, look, catastrophic engine failure out there on the road, it's not the end of the world if you blow your engine, but depending on where you are, it's probably not gonna be fun, and it's almost certainly not gonna be safe. So if you know you're gonna tune that aggressively, why not get ahead of it and do it before you go boom? All right, so we put links to everything we talked about in the description, and we have over a million other products available at Motoroso.com. Now, if you think we missed anything, feel free to add that in the comment section. We always like to hear from everybody. And when you're ready to shop for your parts, check us out at Motoroso.com. We have live chat, email support, and you can call us toll-free at 833-MOTOROSO anytime. We love helping you guys with your build projects. It's what we're here for. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we're always doing build projects, install guides, and product reviews. Thanks for watching.